loving heavenly father thank you for this wonderful time that you have given to us your father god now we are going to read through your words fill us with your abundant presence as we read through your words and speak to us in the name of jesus we pray amen leviticus chapter 24 and the lord spoke unto moses saying command the children of israel that they bring unto thee pure olive oil beaten for the light to cause the lamps to burn continually outside the veil of the testimony in the tabernacle of the congregation shall Aaron order it from the evening unto the morning before the Lord continually it shall be a statue forever in your generations he shall order the lamps upon the pure lamp stand before the Lord continually and thou shalt take the fine flour and bake twelve cakes thereof two tenth parts shall be in one cake and thou shalt set them in two rows six on a row upon the pure table before the lord and thou shalt put pure frankincense upon each row that it may be on the bread for a memorial even an offering made by fire unto the lord every sabbath he shall set it in order before the lord continually being taken from the children of israel by an everlasting covenant and it shall be Aaron's and his sons and they shall eat it in the holy place for it is the most holy unto him of the offerings of the lord made by fire by a per perpetual statue and the son of an israelitish woman whose father was an egyptian went out among the children of israel and this son of the israelitish woman and a man of israel strove together in the camp and the israelitish woman's son blasphemed the name of the lord and cursed and they brought him unto moses and his mother's name was shelomith the daughter of debri of the tribe of dan and they put him in the prison that the mind of the lord might be shown him and the lord spoke unto moses saying bring forth him who hath cursed outside the camp and let all them that heard him lay their hands upon his head and let all the congregation stone him and thou shalt speak unto the children of israel saying Whosoever curseth his God shall bear his sin, and he who blasphemeth the name of the Lord, he shall surely be put to death. And all the congregation shall certainly stone him, as well as the sojourner, as he who is born in the land, when he blasphemeth the name of the Lord, shall be put to death. And he who killeth any man shall surely be put to death. And he who killeth a beast shall make it good, beast for beast. And if a man causeth a blemish in his neighbour, as he hath done, so shall it be done to him breach for breach eye for eye tooth for tooth as he hath caused a blemish in a man so shall it be done to him and he who killeth a beast he shall restore it and he who killeth a man he shall put to death ye shall have one manner of law as well as for the sojourner as for one of your own country for i am the lord your god and moses spoke to the children of israel that they should bring forth him who had cursed out of the camp and stone him with stones and the children of israel did as the lord commanded moses amen luke chapter 24 now upon the first day of the week very early in the morning they came unto the sepulcher bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them and they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher and they entered in and found not the body of the lord jesus and it came to pass as they were much perplexed about this behold two men stood by them in shining garments and as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth they said unto them why seek ye the living among the dead he is not here but is risen remember how he spoke unto you when he was yet in galilee saying the son of man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again and they remembered his words and written from the sepulcher and told all these things unto the eleven and to all the rest it was mary magdalene and joanna and mary the mother of james and other women that were with them who told these things unto the apostles and their words seemed to them as idle tales and they believed them not then arose peter and ran unto the sepulcher and stooping down he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves and departed wondering in himself at that which was come to pass and behold two of them went that same day to a village called emmaus 
which was from Jerusalem about three score furlongs. And they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that, while they communed together and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holden that they should not recognize him. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have with one another as they walk and are sad? And the one of them, whose name was Cleophas, answering, said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are come to pass these in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death, and have crucified him. But we hope that it had been he who should have redeemed Israel, and besides all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yeah, and certain women also of our company amazed us, who were early at the sepulchre, and when they found not his body, they came, saying that they had also seen a vision of angels, who said that he was alive. And certain of those who were with us went to the sepulchre, and found it even as the women had said, but him they saw not. Then he said unto them, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken, out not Christ to have suffered these things, and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew near unto the village to which they went, and he made as though he would have gone farther. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat eating with them, he took bread, and blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us, while he talked with us along the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose up the same hour, and returned to Jerusalem, and found the leaven gathered together, and those who were with them, saying, The Lord is risen indeed, and hath appeared to Simon. And they told what things were done along the way, and how he was known to them in the breaking of bread. And as they thus spoke, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them, and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and frightened, and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are ye troubled? And why do your thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet that it is I myself, handle me, and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones, as they see me have. And when he had thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they yet believed not for joy, and wondered, he said unto them, Have ye here anything to eat? And they gave him a piece of a broiled fish and an honeycomb, and he took it and did eat before them. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spoke unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures, and said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it is behooved Christ to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. And, behold, I send the promise of my, of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, until ye be endured with power from on high. And he led them out as far as to Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them, and carried up unto heaven. And they worshipped him, and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continually in the temple, praising and blessing God. Amen. Revelation chapter 19 And after these things I heard a great voice of many people in heaven, saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory, and honour and power unto the Lord our God, 
for true and righteous as are his judgments for he hath judged the great harlot who did corrupt the earth with her fornication and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand and again they said hallelujah and her smoke rose up for ever and ever and the four and twenty elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshiped god that sat on the throne saying amen hallelujah and a voice came out of the throne saying praise our god all his servants and ye that fear him both small and great and i heard as it were the voice of a great multitude and like the voice of many waters and like the voice of mighty peals of thunder saying hallelujah for the lord god omnipotent reigneth let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife hath made herself ready and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen clean and white for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints and he said unto me write blessed are they who are called unto the marriage supper of the lamb and he said unto me these are the true sayings of god and i fell at his feet to worship him and he said unto me see thou do it not i am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of jesus worship god for the testimony of jesus is a spirit of prophecy and i saw heaven opened and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he doth judge and make war his eyes were like a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of god and the armies that were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen white and clean and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of wrath of the god almighty and he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written king of kings and lord of lords and i saw an angel standing in the sun and he cried with a loud voice saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great god that ye may eat the flesh of the kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men both free and enslaved both small and great and i saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that brought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and then that worshiped his image these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone and the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse which sword proceeded out of his mouth and all the fowls were filled with their flesh amen loving heavenly father thank you for speaking with us oh father god we saw in the book of luke how you spoke with the disciples of emmaus when you walked with them their heart burned within themselves and you opened the scriptures and you made them understand what is written in them oh father god in the same manner open our understanding so that we might understand the scriptures deeply and understand the mysteries of it oh father god bless us and strengthen us in the name of jesus we pray amen